Today we're going to figure out the gallons per minute on this uh, new equipment. Right here, he's got a variable speed pump with a brand new pool. I just put salt in this pool today. So I'll be back later today to check the level of the salt and then do a reading on how much more I need to add by a chemical method. But um, this is how you would check your gallons per minute. That way we can set up this time to exactly the time that he needs and the flow rate that he needs to uh, get his one day of uh, circulation per day. First you need to get yourself a vacuum gauge like this. And then you got the intake side of the pump. Right here is the intake side and here's the drain side right here. So we'll undo the intake side of the pump, screw in, and make sure you don't cross thread this thing. Screw in your um, vacuum gauge here, just like that, and we'll come back over to the unit, take it out of service mode. speed that I set it to, speed that I set it to was 23.50, that way I can uh, go by the curve of the pump and find out how many gallons per minute we're actually flowing through this. So let it prime up here and then it'll drop back down to the speed that we want, 23.50, and then we'll get an accurate vacuum reading. As you can see right now, the pressure is up high too, but the normal pressure is around 20. Um, but we're going to probably be lower than that now because they added a 2800 RPM and I dropped it down to 2350. So here we go, dropping it down to 2350. See, now we're only about 15, 15 psi coming out of the filter. And we're around, say, 4, four psi, three, 3 or 4 psi, I mean, not psi of the vacuum of. Uh, on the pump. Okay, so we got about say, say four there and 15 here. And now let's put it back into service mode. Okay, back, take this back out again here. Put the screw back in again. Not be careful not to strip it. And let's just fire it back up. Put it back into auto mode, and it'll fire it back up again. Okay. Now when I come back and check the salt and do all that, I'll figure out roughly this pool is probably about 10 and a half to 11,000 gallon pool. Um, but I'll know for sure after I figure do the math on the salt that I added. So. Um, I'll come back to the video on that one for, and let you know on that one for right now. Um, we got the readings of it that we need, and, uh, and later on today, I'll come back, like I said, and uh, figure out the salt. All right, thanks. Okay, now that we have our vacuum on that pump and also our PSI on the filter, now we can uh, find out what our gallons per minute is flowing through that system. Now, um, as you recall on the video, I set the, um, the pump up to 2350 RPM because that's where the curve is. Um, instead of leaving it at 1700 RPM or 1800 RPM, where it's kind of hard to guess what the curve is. So I bumped it, uh, um, bumped it up to 2350. And um, this is pretty much how you figure out your feet ahead. You use your vacuum, you use your vacuum right here multiplied by 1.13 and then you use the PSI multiply that by 2.31 and then you get your total feet ahead so on that system we got a, um, a 4 vacuum and we're going to multiply that by 1.13 that gives us a 4.5 and then we got 15 PSI 
multiply that by 2.31 and that gives us a 34 feet ahead um, out of the uh, return line and a 4 vacuum. Now we'll add the 4.5. We got approximately 40 feet ahead in that system. Um, now what we do is we come over here to um, 40 feet ahead right here and follow the line over until it meets connects right here with the pump curve come straight down and that's approximately 55 gallons per minute okay now what we'd have to do to figure out how many gallons per minute that we're doing uh, once again um, I figured out this pool is 11,000 gallons 11,000 gallons and I did a chemical method uh, to find out my gallons. It's a lot more accurate. In my next uh, video, I'll be showing you how to do that. Um, on Balance uh, came up with a way to do that, and it's uh, really awesome. So I'll definitely show you that in the next um, in the next video. But anyway, so we'll take 55, I mean uh, 11,000 gallons, and then we'll divide that by our 55 gallons per minute, and then we'll divide that by 60, 60 minutes in an hour, gives us basically 3.3 hours that we have to run that pool um, to, for a one turnover. Uh, now I would run it at uh, four four hours. I wouldn't run it at three point obviously or three or three and a half or whatever. I'd run it at four um, and then try to go from there. And uh, usually the pools that I set are doing really well. Um, so and as long as you know it's going to save people a lot of money because um, your average uh, pool, say a two horsepower pump. Um, if you do the math on that, that, that pump is going to cost eight hour uh, run time a day. That pump is going to cost about $185 a month, and that's just at 33 cents. Uh, so that, that's a lot of money. And um, so, you know, your, the customers will really appreciate, uh, you know, uh, saving them a lot of money. And the, uh, the people that look at this that own pools, and you'll definitely be saving thousands of dollars a year. Uh, um, by doing it this way um, so don't forget give me a, um, a thumbs up if you like the video uh, please share the video and uh, and comment below please leave comments below I'd uh, um, appreciate a little bit of uh, some comments so I can uh, answer some comments I haven't gotten any comments yet on any of my videos so but anyways um, uh, thank you very much and you guys have a good day alright bye